Good morning, everybody. It's Bob Plaschke. I'm the CEO of Sonom Technologies. We're doing our 60 seconds at IWCE uh, here in uh, wonderful, warm uh, Las Vegas. Um, here with a good friend and a strategic partner, Greg Albright, the CTO of Orion Labs. Orion Labs, based with us in Silicon Valley, they are a, a leader in, in messaging and, and uh, voice communication technologies. Um, and uh, Greg, thank you for taking a few seconds out of the chat. Of course. So just tell us a quick sound bite about Orion Labs, so folks sure. know who you are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Orion is secure, over-the-top, push-to-talk communications for teams with what we like to call our superpowers. God, that's fantastic. We run uh, Orion uh, software on our phones and we sell these as a combined bundle to a number of agencies across the country. In fact, uh, a shout out to the folks in Chicago if they see us. Um, today, um, talking to folks about what's cool at IWCE, uniquely and happily is what's cool and one of the hot topics in the show is Orion's indoor location capabilities. Indoor location, massively important for public safety. So how do you find somebody who is in distress, firefighter, um, a maid, a police officer, anyone who's in a, in a building where they're doing some type of service, how do you find them, how do you get to them, how do you track them? Yeah, so this is probably one of the things we get asked for the most is how do I find someone in three dimensions? It's really easy to do two dimensions, right? X, Y, latitude, and longitude. But now using the Sonom device running the Orion client, we can enable enhanced indoor location and actually show where our users are, not only in the X, Y axis, but in the Z axis. So actually give a floor by floor location information for our users. And we're able to just show that, show that in three dimensions on a map in real time using the Orion client running on a Sonom device. So what you see here is a user over at the Westgate Hotel next door and the floor that they're on in real time in the, as this cube. We're also able to display it um, two-dimensionally here. So you can see these users are both on the eighth floor and the 26th floor, both using the Orion client on a Sonom device. And so this, this is one of them? Uh, this is one of them right here, the red cube right there. Okay. So we're going to rotate around and we'll see where they are in three dimensions. So you can imagine someone on the ground floor looking up, trying to figure out where a victim is at or a rescuer is at, and they can see where they're at as a cube represented in 3D or on 2D actually showing what floor they're on or their elevation if you need to know their elevation. And what's fantastic is that we will put, we will put this capability in a mobile context on the XB8. So not only can you see it in a kind of an iPad context, but you can actually see it as you're responding. Yeah. Now, Greg, I'm going to make you take the XP8 out of the case. Um, and I do this um, simply because it's just a perfect example of the, uh, the side connector. And this is what we're, you know, we're super proud of, is it's one of our kind of innovations, which allows emergency responders to basically have the capability. Um, and you're seeing this in real life. Um, so this is what the, the word side connector means. Greg, cool, cool stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, this is breakthrough technology. Um, tell us a little bit how it works, and then yeah. uh, without giving away any trade secrets. Sure, of course, yeah. Um, so we're think if you think about a GPS denied environment, somewhere where you don't have GPS indoors, we're looking at all of the sensors that are available on the phone. Uh, Wi-Fi information, Bluetooth information, the barometric pressure sensor, the accelerometers, all of the sensors that are available on this phone, we use to approximate a user's location in areas where GPS might be non-existent. Greg, thanks much. Yeah, no great work, buddy. Yeah. Congratulations on a great show. Bob Plash, Sonom Technologies, 60 seconds at IWCE.